Skinny girls weak, the models don't compare Junk in the trunk, looking like two pairs Woo, got me hotter than a sauna Ass so fat, make me wanna thank your mama Ass so fat, I think I need a lap dance Ass so fat, about to pop out of them pants Hey guys, I know you probably can't see me, it's getting dark I'm working right now, but you guys know when I'm really busy um, I still wanna get videos out for you guys So I am, um hitting you guys today with my broccoli and cheese casserole so i hope you like this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to do you boo okay you guys so we're gonna start off by making some rice for my casserole i like to use rice i know some people like to use potatoes but i prefer rice um, I have my pan super hot because I like to have the pan super hot when I put the rice in than when I put the water so it boils faster. Um, so right here in this bowl I have about two and a half cups of rice. So for that I'm going to be using um, five cups of water. Um, yeah, so this right here is some parboiled rice. You can probably use whatever kind of rice you want, but this is the rice that I have on hand because I make like a lot of rice and peas for work. So, um, yeah, two and a half cups of rice going in the hot pot. Let's get it. So now I'm adding my five cups of water. Ooh, my rice is toasting a little bit at the bottom, but that's perfectly fine. All that toastiness is nothing but flavor. Um, that was about four cups of water. I'm going to put um, another cup and a half. So that's good. So that looks good. I'm going to put a little bit of this um, Sasson Completo in here. Just to flavor the rice. Because even though it's going to be flavor, you want to flavor like the inside of the rice. You know, when you're cooking, you try to flavor every step of the cooking process. So I'm going to stir this. I'm going to let this come to a boil and then I'm going to reduce it to um, a low temperature and cover it and let the rice cook and then we're going to work on the second step. Okay you guys, so my rice is perfect, nice and fluffy. I have a empty foil pan here, half size. I'm going to transfer this rice to this pan and um, we're gonna just do what we're doing. Let me put this rice in the pan. Okay, you guys, so as you can see, my rice is perfect. Um, Listen, it took me a long time to learn how to make perfect rice. So if your rice doesn't come out perfect, just keep, you know, practicing and trying. As you can see, this rice is not mushy. You can see every grain, perfectly cooked rice. Um, you got those nice toasted bits, which is just going to give it like a nice nutty flavor. This rice is perfect. Now to this rice, I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Real butter, not margarine. As you can see, I'm using sweet cream salted butter. This right here is about three tablespoons. You guys know I do not measure my food. I just, you know, do it by eye. But you guys are always asking me for measurements. So for now, I'm going to try the best I can to try to, you know, give you guys some measurements. So um, I'm adding three tablespoons right here. Three tablespoons of this sweet cream salted butter, real butter. So that's in. While this rice is warm, I'm just going to stir the butter in. Let the butter melt in the rice. Let it get nice and shiny. Get that butter flavor in there. Once that's done, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so in a hot skillet, I'm melting down, um, this is about three and a half tablespoons of butter. Of course, again, real butter. I'm pouring a little tiny bit of extra virgin olive oil. That's about two tablespoons. 
and um, I'm going to add some minced garlic. I'm going to put about two tablespoons of minced garlic and the oil. Garlic and the oil. It's gonna be garlicky. It's gonna be good. So that's about three ta uh, two tablespoons of mixed garlic and about three tablespoons of the garlic oil that comes in the jar. So we're going to toast this garlic a little bit, but of course, keep your eye on it. You don't want it to burn or get bitter. So yeah, we're gonna toast it. Wow, look at that. Yum, yum, yum. That looks so good. Now to this, I'm going to add a one pound bag of frozen broccoli. I am going to use fresh broccoli as well, but I like to use, I like to use both. So I'm putting a one pound bag of fresh broccoli. I mean, of frozen broccoli. And then I'm going to add a one pound bag of this winter blend. So this winter blend has broccoli and cauliflower. So I'm going to add that too. So I have the frozen broccoli and the frozen cauliflower in here. Um, of course you can use fresh broccoli. If you're using fresh broccoli, I would say this would be about six cups of broccoli. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to saute this broccoli and cauliflower in this butter, oil, garlic mixture for a little bit. Now to season this, I'm going to add a little bit more of the um, Sasson Completo. This is how it looks. Put in some of that. And I'm going to put some black pepper. This is the black pepper. And we're just going to cook this down for a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this looks really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, put all this broccoli, cauliflower, and butter, and garlic, and goodness um, into the rice. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So I have it in the rice. All I'm going to do now is just mix this in. Mix all that butter and garlic and just mix it into the rice. So this looks perfect. This all mixed. Look at those kernels, nice and shiny with all that butter and garlic and stuff. So um, now we are going to start working on the sauce. Okay, you guys, so this is the same pan I just took the broccoli out of. Um, this is two tablespoons of butter. To that, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of minced garlic, plus there's probably about a half a tablespoon still in there. I'm gonna toast this up some. Yum. Yum. Yo, it smells so good in here. Mmm. Now to that, I'm going to add a three and a half cups of half and half. So we're going to let this come up to a simmer and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this looks good. Nice little soft simmer. I'm going to add some more Sasson Completo. I love this stuff. You guys get on it. Um, some black pepper. A little bit of smoked paprika. Some dried chives. And I use one of these buttermilk ranch um, seasoning mixes. This is how it looks. I get this from Aldi's. So I'm going to put one of these packs in it. So now we're just going to mix this up. 
This is gonna be so flavorful. Yum. Now to this, I'm gonna put half a cup of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Half a cup of Colby Monterey Jack cheese. Half a cup of regular sharp cheddar cheese. A tablespoon of Parmesan Romano. And uh, we're gonna mix this up. So yeah, as you can see, I don't add any fillers to my sauce, like no flour and all that kind of stuff. I thicken my sauces with cheese, <laughs> a bunch of cheese. See how thick that's getting now? Yo, this is gonna be so bomb. Mmm. Yum. Look at that. Y'all see that? This is done, y'all. Go ahead and turn this off. Right now, everything is on a super low flame because you don't want it to scald at the bottom. But yes, y'all. This is done. Mmm, can y'all see that? Do y'all see my cheese sauce? Yeah. This is like a buttermilk ranch cheesy sauce for the rice and the vegetables, the broccoli. Oh, amazing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put three quarters of this mixture into the rice. I'm going to save a quarter to um, uh, drizzle on top. So uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. But look, do we need some more... But look, do we need some more of this uh, sauce action? I think we do. Look at that, y'all. Y'all do not need to buy jarred sauces. Look at this. Perfect consistency. No fillers, no flour, nothing. Just cheese. Alright, I'm going to pour uh, three quarters of this into the rice. Okay, you guys. So our cheesy ranch cream sauce is done. Um, I poured three quarters on here on the rice. I'm going to mix this up and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I mixed all the sauce in. Yo, this stuff is fire. I tasted a little bit on a tasting spoon and yo, OMG, this could be like a one pot meal right here. It could be a side. You could grill some chicken breast and throw that in here, some shrimp, some crab meat, whatever you want to do. But yeah, this is super fire. You have to try this. So the next thing we're going to do is I have some fresh broccoli. I'm going to clean and um, trim up my fresh broccoli and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So I'm, I already started to put my broccoli in. All I'm doing is you see this? I'm just sticking this in. See like just sticking the um, ends in. That's what I'm just doing all around. Just sticking it in. See, this is the fresh broccoli. I have about, uh, I would say about three cups of fresh broccoli. So I'm gonna finish doing that, studding the top with the fresh broccoli, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so I studded the top of the, bro the casserole with all the fresh broccoli. Here is the remainder of the sauce. As I was doing it, it got a little bit of, uh, thick. So what I did was I added a little tiny bit more of the half and half not a lot that will change the integrity of the sauce but i added just a little bit just to thin it out so right now i'm gonna pour the rest of this sauce on top of the broccoli mm, mm, yo i hope i get a plate tomorrow like this looks so good I, I like i hope i get just a little bit you know what i'm saying this is going to be fire okay you guys so i topped the broccoli with the rest of that uh, cream sauce. And did you think we was done? I know you ain't think we was done, right? Now I'm going to top all of this with about a quarter cup more of that Colby Monterey Jack cheese and some more of that cheddar cheese. Yum. Okay, you guys, so this looks absolutely amazing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to top it with a little bit more of um, this smoked paprika.
a little bit more of these chopped chives. And a little bit of black pepper. This looks amazing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with some tin foil, put it in the oven at 350 and bake this for about 25 minutes. Okay, you guys. So here's my broccoli and cheese casserole. Fresh out the oven. OMG. That looks amazing. So of course, here's the moment of truth. Let's see how it cooks. Oh, that's thick. Mmm, and creamy. Yum. Yum. You guys see that? This is amazing. Yum. You guys see that? This is amazing.